That you, Al? Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Yourself, friend, this won't take long. Dan Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office. Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... Danbury. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice floor as this. for this. No. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again.
thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silent. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. There, girl. Yeah, here we go. Hey, you're okay, girl. Okay, girl. There, girl. Easy, whoa.
Whoa, girl, easy. What are you doing? Easy, girl. Good work, girl. It's good seeing you in action with those foreman boys, like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Yep, just in time. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right then, Arthur. All right. Good morning, Arthur. Another day, another dollar. Yes, indeed. Well, we're still here. That's something. Okay. Uh, 
Hello. Good morning, Arthur. Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Whatever you say. You okay, boy? Hey, boy. morning. Hello, Miss O'Shea. You going to get up? What is it? I'm tired, Arthur. You awake yet?
Hi, Arthur. How you doing, Abigail? My, my, I do like this new haircut of yours. Uh, blame Trelawney. Well, I should get back to it. Take care, Arthur. How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! The Driscoll boys are coming! Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Let's burn this place to the ground. Uh, is everyone accounted for? 
Hey! I said it's every... I don't know! I think! She's still out there! Cover me! Okay! I found me one of them women! Hold on, girl! Sadie? So, except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Karen, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps.
you're okay. That's a fine steed. Raid ain't got any spare stalls for you. Did you want to buy something or just stand around? I'll take this one well. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper son. That's the same one I use, too. Yep, yep. Let's get. Sun on your bones and sand beneath your feet. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. 
We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Help me! Okay. Give me everything you got. So they're Quick. Valuables. Mr. Okay. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Give me your money. It ain't worth dying. Open that gate. Let my acquaintance skin inside. I said, oh, open the gate and let's hand over twins. all your money now. Yes, quick. Of course, of course, of course. Just take it. There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. And get ready for company. Well, I guess this will have to do. Get lost. We don't want to hurt any of them. Anything else on me? Mr. F, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down! We got you surrounded! That greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so.
I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... 
Fifteen dollars. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What do we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all.
都仲唔係佢嘅添。Hello, mister. Mr. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Not good. Ma'am. Hello. Oh, do you have the time there? Uh, I don't know. Okay, thanks anyway. Look out!
Mister? Hello, mister. Watch your step. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algin and Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Oh, mister. Ooh. <laughs> hey, move it! 
Real fine. Are you slow? The hell's your problem? Good evening, mister. Hey, why is this happening? What do you want? There, boy. Good boy. Shit, boy.
Get over here. Arthur, come up here. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches, or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yep. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp, catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about Whoa. sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in Saint Denis in his back pocket. 
He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch. You keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch. You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why eating in the swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this place gets better and better. Come on. Whoa. 
Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Keep still. Please, when I tell you to keep still, keep still. Yeah, for Christ's sakes, listen to the man before you get us all eaten. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. Look out. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Jules? Hello? That must be him. You're in a tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yeah. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. 
Okay. Yeah. And, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. I'm scared. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. It'll take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Pull, boy. Jules? He won't kill No, I'm going in. No, bro, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. I will? Quick. Go on, Arthur. <laughs> Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. This 
still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in here! He's under the water. Coming right for us. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. Yeah. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Uh, Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You'll be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well.
Hey there.
gave you enough warnings.
Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, John. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. <laughs> Shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Come on, let's get in there. God's sake, let me. We got more inside.
Upstairs. It's not down here. Right. He's got to be in one of these rooms. Friend, I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit.
wants to have a little chat, Mr. Malta. Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed of. <laughs> Our friends of Pinkerton's <laughs> gonna come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> 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 Philosophy books cover feeding the fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him.
You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh, Driscoll's, Pinkertons. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this. Day. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, nope. pick us off far easier. I know. I'm... I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! Come on, Hosea, get moving. We ain't got all day. This is it, gentlemen, the last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to be real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, and another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that, it's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right, with security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan, one last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? Is he in camp? Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Uh, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah.
Let's hitch up here. At all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. Yeah. This had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Combination for these safes. Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances! Come on! Oh, God damn it! 
There's your deal, Dutch. Jose. Jose. God damn it!
Arthur! We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. See if you'll cover us. Sure, sure. Go on! Like your fairy job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Boats, come on! Guards up ahead. What now? Just wait a second. I'm out. God damn it. This night just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Quick, get in cover and stay out of sight. Can't stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Guard to the left. Get down and stay out of sight. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton said. Milton said a lot. 
Come on, I won't be out here all night. or something. Jenkins, is that you? Someone whistle out here? Shit, another one. for us maybe maybe not well they ain't just waiting there for no reason yeah let me think for a second i'll deal with them what how i can't kill all of them silently so when they chase me you go the other way what are you talking about you heard what i said oh i like it real brave what in the hell who is That is one of the most Don't beautiful acts dead. I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money? and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? 
Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. Wake up. I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat. You come on. <laughs> Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. <sighs> Jesus. Try to find another way. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> 